In this video, I will show you the intro of my new course Python Microservices Breaking a Monolith to Microservices. This course is available and uh, you can uh, buy it on Udemy or on my website scalablescripts.com. I suggest uh, getting it here because uh, if you buy the Django bundle, you will get this course and also my other Django courses along with it. And um, I recommend it this way because this course is based on uh, uh, this uh, or this or this. So they are the same app, but uh, the front end uh, changes. So this course will use uh, the same uh, app that will build in the uh, this course React Next.js and Django Rapid Guide Advanced and uh, will break that up into microservices. So is up to you. So in this course, we will learn uh, how to use uh, an event driven architecture with Apache Kafka, how to send internal HTTP requests, importing uh, data from uh, not multiple databases, but also other microservices. Uh, we will uh, run Docker with multiple networks and uh, we'll use Kubernetes and deploy to Google Cloud. For the moment, Kubernetes and Google Cloud are not available because uh, they are currently being recorded. So for about uh, one or two weeks, you will get uh, these uh, lectures there also. So uh, this uh, I will provide the coupon in the description of this video and you will get more lectures in about two weeks. So this is my new course and uh, now I will play the intro video. So this is a monolith that we will start with. It is one big uh, Django backend app and uh, there are three frontend apps that uh, will consume this uh, Django app. The frontend apps you can choose uh, whatever favorite uh, frontend framework you want. Uh, they are admin, ambassador and checkout. They will all communicate with uh, this Django app and uh, this Django app has also a lot of functionality like uh, ping with Stripe, using Redis, authorizing users and sending emails. So this is the monolith. After we break this up to microservices, uh, the end result will look like this. So each frontend app will uh, consume their own microservice. So the admin frontend will consume the admin microservice, the ambassador frontend will consume the ambassador microservice and checkout frontend the checkout microservice. They will all communicate with uh, another microservice called the user's microservice where it will store the information regarding all the users in this app and they will communicate with that microservice via internal HTTP requests. Also, they will, we will have a separate microservice, the email microservice, which the only job is to send emails. And uh, there we will communicate using events through Apache Kafka. Also, the microservices themselves will communicate with each other using Apache Kafka as well. They will have their own database and uh, some of them will have similar data. But uh, this uh, doesn't mean that uh, the data will be the same or it will be used the same. For example, the orders table will be available on each microservice but uh, the columns there will be different. So all the columns in the orders table will be available on the checkout microservice when it is created. It will have a complete field 0 or 1 if it failed or it is completed. But in the admin microservice it will have all these fields but uh, it will not have the complete field since there will store only the completed orders. So the admin microservice has one less column but has also less data compared to the checkout microservice. Ambassador microservice 
has even less columns since there uh, for the orders table it needs only the total for the ambassador and it doesn't need all the other columns. So each microservice can save the data as they need it. So this is the architecture that we will build in this course. If you want to learn how to build this architecture, consider taking this course. Thank you.